Welcome back to the channel, it's Gazzit. I hope you're all enjoying your Saturday today. So in today's video we're going to be talking about Call of Duty 2022 and also Warzone 2. So let's just start off with, if you're not subscribed around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button with a bell notification turned on so you never miss a video on this channel. So let's start with Call of Duty 2022 and this is what we know so far. Call of Duty actually did put out a blog post so I will be covering all the things from that blog post so it is all spitting fact. So as we've kind of gathered already, this year's Call of Duty game will be a sequel to Modern Warfare 2019, which was a pretty awesome game in itself. It brought a lot of the old fan base back. Did they stick around? That is up for discussion, but they're gonna be bringing a new Call of Duty game this year, which is a sequel to the banger that they brought in 2019. So obviously the official title hasn't been released just yet, but from what we know from leaks slash rumours, is it's going to be Modern Warfare 2. Not the original Modern Warfare 2, but Modern Warfare 2 as in 2022, as it will be referred to. As well as a new game with Call of Duty 2022, there is also going to be a new Warzone. And I'm not just talking about like a new Warzone map, I'm talking about a brand new Warzone game as like Warzone 2. as like a sequel to the original Warzone. So what they're going to be doing here is Call of Duty Infinity War actually made a new engine which the new Call of Duty game is going to be played on and also Warzone 2 is going to be played on which is actually designed by Infinity Ward and it's going to be designed from the ground up so you can just imagine right there it's going to be the new engine it's going to be a lot of the Modern Warfare 2 content and it's basically just going to be a whole new experience which feels completely different to the war zone that we see and we play today. So they're also going on about the massive evolution of Battle Royale, because if you didn't know, they didn't actually expect Warzone to be as big as it is. They expected Warzone just to be that little standalone game that stood next to Modern Warfare, and they just was going to leave it at that. They didn't expect it to grow to what it is today, because obviously during when the first Warzone came out, it was when everywhere was like locked down. So you can imagine the player base at that point was absolutely huge so they didn't expect the amount of players that they did and because of what's happened obviously then black ops cold war had to come into the mix and then obviously vanguard is now into the mix they didn't actually mean for any of this to happen okay i'm getting a little bit off topic here but what we're seeing is and what they're telling us is there's going to be an all new play space and a new sandbox mode. Not quite sure what that actually is going to be bringing, so if you have any thoughts, make sure you leave them down in the comments section below. So just like I said previously, there is going to be a new engine coming to the game for Call of Duty. This will be going from, obviously, Modern Warfare 2 and probably the next two or three Call of Duty games after this, and they're also putting it into Warzone. That is also in the blog post. They have made that its own separate line, so you can go there and read it. I will leave the blog post down in the description below, so you can go and read it. Have as much fun as reading that if you want to do that. Then I will leave it down in the description below. And the last thing they have said about the future plans is the development on both the new Call of Duty and the Warzone experience is being led by Infinity Ward. Just like the original Warzone, it was like the first kind of six to eight months, and then Raven Software took over, which I imagine is about what's going to happen with this one as well. Unless Raven Software are going to be working side by side with Infinity Ward on this, we're not quite sure just yet. But as soon as more information comes out of the Call of Duty 2022 and the new Warzone, I will be making a video on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button with a bell notification turned on so you never miss any Call of Duty video going forward on this channel. So until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Gaz and I'm out. Peace.